Hi, I just wanted to come on here and start a um, foundation tutorial for the brand Limelight by Alcone. I am currently selling this product and I also wanted to share this with you guys because this is great for people with sensitive skin. I know myself, I've suffered with cystic acne for many, many years. I have been on Accutane twice and this is finally a product that's working for me and also not making my face break out at the same time. I just want to share with you before I start the foundation that it is very important to um, make sure your face is very clean before you start applying the product. So in the morning I tend to apply the Quench Cleanse as well as the Skin Therapist and the Must Do. For this tutorial I did actually use um, the Skin Therapist and the Must Do on my face about 15 minutes prior before applying the foundation. The foundation is a wax-based formula and it will last you a very long time. I did pre-warm this up with my finger so that it applies a lot easier. It is 50% pigmented, all the products from One Light by Alcone. Usually commercial brand products are only 18 to 23% pigmented, so you get a lot more bang for your buck. This is mineral oil free, lanolin oil free, and fragrance free. So it's great for any skin type, including sensitive skin. So all you need to do is take your beauty blender or your brush and see how much just goes on just like that. Tap. Look how much coverage I already have. Now this color is <clears throat> Shinto Zero. It is a little bit light for my skin tone. However, I did just order olive one, and that is the proper color for my skin tone. But that being said, even though this is light, I can still use it. All I do is apply a little bit of bronzer at the end, and it evens it out. I'm just gonna dip it a little more, and you can add as much as you like for more coverage, but a little will go a long way. And I will say this too, if you do take our foundation quiz on my Facebook page, and you can also private message me if you need a, a copy of that link, and I can also help you out too by a private message, figure out your color match. Now I do have acne scarring too, and this covers it up actually very nice. See? Didn't take much time at all. Did anybody just join in? Just gonna cover up patch right here. Look at that. Fully covered and a little bit of product used and it feels so weightless on my skin. It's truly amazing. If you did join in, feel free to share this video. This is my first live video of many, and if you'd like to follow my live videos, please click on the screen and tap on follow, and it will alert you to my future live videos. So what I did was I just applied our foundation, the botanical foundation. I was saying it's great for sensitive skin, great for any type of um, skin in general, dry or oily. Hello. So all I did was I took my beauty blender, I pre-warmed this up with my finger because it is a wax-based formula which is great because it will actually go a lot further on your face. All I did was put my beauty blender in half a turn and it covered the entire portion of my face. And at the end, if you wanted to go back and replay that, you can as well. And then I went in with my concealer and I covered up a small patch I have in here. I just um, wanted to come on today to really talk about the foundation, but I also did want to talk about the other products we have as well. Um, after you apply the foundation and your concealer, you can use our pressed powder. This actually has no flashback to it. So what that means is when you take a photo, you won't get that reflective um, light back into your photo. So it actually, and it will stay on almost all day. Then there's also our bronzer, which is great. I was explaining that this color I put on today was Shinto Zero. And what that is, is it's basically it is a shade too light for my skin. I'm supposed to be olive one. So I'm going to use this to even it out. But as you can tell, it's still a fairly good match. So I did just place an order for olive one today, and I hope that it works out for me. 
Um, I will be posting a video once I get it. And there is also a quiz online too if you would like to take it to figure out your foundation that would be the best fit for you. I can also send you the link or you can private message me and I can help you. Um, this color is our blush. It's called, thank you, it's called Possible. And what I would do is I just typically put it on the apple portion of my cheek. I'm going to do a tutorial another day of more of a full face, but I just wanted to get started with some of these products. And a little bit truly does go a long way. These are 50% pigmented. Typically, most um, products are only 18 to 23% pigmented. So you will get more bang for your buck with these products. And if you are interested in these products, you can just hit the Shop Now button on my Facebook page. But um, those of you that are on here that know me know I've suffered from cystic acne for a very long time. And I finally am finding something that works for me. Um, I am getting skincare samples in, and I would love to share them with those who would actually like them. Again, feel free to share this video. Um, it does does help bring up the numbers. Um, this is my first Facebook Live. Um, feel free to also share my Facebook page. Um, if you do watch this over again, just please put hashtag replay. Um, the, uh, the company Alcone has actually been around for over 60 years. They've been providing um, makeup for celebrity makeup artists and um, Hollywood, basically. Um, celebrities like Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, all use products like this and probably others that you've heard of as well. Um, I just wanted to show you as well the eyeliner, this perfect eyeliner pen. It was actually out of stock and it actually just came back into stock. And I just wanted to try to show you here real quick how easy it is to use. It's a very fine line. So even if you're not comfortable with eyeliner, it's very easy to use and I highly recommend it. It's it's priced well under $20 and it's it's worth the investment. It's actually $18. So it is back in stock now. If you are interested, I would say go ahead and purchase it because just like Olive One was out of stock, we don't know, um, and that was foundation. Um, it did just come back today at three. So if you do come back as Olive, I would suggest ordering it soon because we don't know if they'll go out of stock again. They are only doing one per household. This is also um, my eyeshadow palette. There's four different colors. You can also do individuals. Individuals are $12. If you do a palette like this, it get a little more bang for your buck because you're only paying $44 for four, so you're saving about $4. The color pigmentation in these, the reason these are better than most product is again, because they're 50% 50, 50 pigmented, which means a little bit is gonna go a long way. So you literally only have to tap your brush in and put a little bit on and this product will probably last you a very, very long time. The other thing I like about this is if you have a color that you find that you like the best, you can actually pop it out from the back, it's magnetic, and just replace the color you want without having to actually replace the whole palette. And I just, for the people that just joined in, I just wanted to show you again the face products I was using. So I was saying in the morning, I tend to use the Quench Cleanse and the Skin Therapist and the Must Do in the morning as well. And at night I use what's called Dream Queen Clean Cleanser and the reason for this is because I have combination skin. And I find that this works the best for me. If you need help with a skincare regimen, I can definitely help you out. And I am getting samples um, in the near future, so if skincare, you know, if you want to test it out before you buy it, I can definitely help you out um, with that too. <clears throat> the other um item I just wanted to talk about for a second is our Enduring Lip Liner. This is a nude color, so it will match your lips pretty much dead on, so it will look very natural if you're going for a natural look. And also our um, Enduring Lip Color. I was actually doing a free giveaway of these. If you add 60 friends to our Facebook page, you will get one of these for free. Any color that's on there, you get to choose. So again, feel free to share that, add your friends, and I hope they'll love this product as well. This product also goes a very long way. I'll just show you real quick. It's, you actually want to scrape some of it off. And it's hard because I don't have a mirror, so I apologize if it's a little off. But yeah, so as you can see, just that little bit, and I even scraped it off, goes a really, really long way. Does the 
I would say it feels more like a lip gloss. It is not sticky. And when it dries, it is matte. At least this color, the Enduring uh, Lip Color. And this is Creme Brulee. So it is matte, but I will say it stays on a very long time. And it doesn't dry your lips out like a typical lip gloss would. I know some of the mattes can dry out your lips and just, like, I, I know mine felt like the desert after a little while. Um, it actually keeps them moist. It does have a little... Like if you go to kiss somebody, it will come off a little bit, but it will actually still stay on your lips at the same time. So, and it does come off the other person as well. So um, that's the products that I have. I'm looking forward to hopefully doing a full uh, tutorial for everybody when I get my kit in the mail, which should be very, very soon. Um, if there is any questions that I can answer, I'd be very happy to. Please just send me a private message or even write on my Facebook wall. Um, I appreciate everybody watching my first live video, and again, if you watch it over again, please put hashtag replay. Please feel free to share this video, and please, if you add 60 friends to my Facebook group, again, you will get a free lip gloss of your choice. Thank you.